And welcome to another Surf Report, November 27th, 2018. I'm Chris McCleary with your daily Surf Report. And if you haven't seen last night's video, I highly recommend that you watch that because it'll explain the astrology part of this. We're going to go through the dream bot first because the dream bot definitely shows what the problem is, what the influence is, and the astrology will show more of the problem, but also the solution. So let's get started. And we have one single meme and I call this saturation in the sky. When we're saturated, all these problems, we tend to avoid, we tend to want to go away from all that. And that's what we're seeing. Pain, suicide, hang, test, lost, unconscious, feeling, rescue even. We want to be rescued. So the collective unconscious, unfortunately, is feeling very negative and very avoidant. And so we'll, we'll, we'll show you uh, in the astrology why that is. But look at these linguistics. Now this is a little bit different than the surf report necessarily, but it's interesting because the collective unconscious can see the future. And sometimes it comes through in these linguistics. L linguistic set number one, literally, unfortunately, Trump, casual, pain, instantly, suicide. And am I suggesting that Trump's going to commit suicide? I, I highly doubt it. Um, but, you know, this is metaphoric. Dreams are very metaphoric. So, you know, something uh, um, along those lines might be in play. And then good American heat. Is this kind of indicating some sort of heat wave? coming up this is a question this is not a science this is just observation that we have seen the future in these linguistics runs so that's all I'm saying if it doesn't pan out don't blame me I'm just the messenger let's look at the astrology oh my gosh now what we do have is what we expected we have mercury Jupiter and Sun all gaggling together in harmony in uh, Sagittarius. That looks like a really good thing. You know, Sun, uh, Mercury, and Jupiter, Jupiter being good fortune, good luck, um, kind of just impulsive rightness, if there is such a thing. It almost sounds like an oxymoron. Mercury is all about thinking. Now it is in retrograde, so it might be old thinking or past thinking. And then you've got the sun, which expands all that energy. The sun is all fire. And guess where we are? Sagittarius, which is fire. It's fire on fire. And uh, this fire is burning through Mercury and Jupiter. That's a real phenomenon in astrology. Uh, I think it is called burning. It's, it's the good aspect of these planets are actually burned by the sun because it's too close. And so what we also have is a trine over to the moon in Leo. So we've got even more harmonious fire. Too much of a good thing now is saturation. And that's exactly what we saw in the dream bot. Now to dump a little bit more fuel on the fire. We have Venus not quite yet to another opposition. Remember, it came back in a retrograde, oppositioning Uranus, and now it's coming back the other way, and it's in opposition to Uranus, so major upheaval in, or potential upheaval in relationships, in finance, and that kind of thing. What do we have in the numerology? 27, just the cold, hard facts. Prone to mistakes, blame, criticism. So a little bit more negativity. We, we're passing off, projecting ourselves onto other people in the form of criticism and blame. What does that all sound like? It sounds like saturation. And so when we come back, we'll talk about what the solution is based on the video from last night. So hang in there. If you haven't yet subscribed, I highly recommend you do and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. Too much of a good thing. Is that even possible? Absolutely. We see this all the time. And 
when overwhelm comes in or overload or feeling saturated with good stuff or even bad stuff, it tends to feel bad and then we tend to avoid. So the antidote is to fully surrender. This is a yang day. You remember all that uh, fire energy? That's yang. Too much yang, the antidote is yin, which is to surrender and fully experience. Relax into the now. And I'm going to show you one more thing. You know, all this gaggle right here. Sun, Mercury, Jupiter in Sagittarius. It's that's where the influence is, but it's in sidereal astrology, it's in Scorpio. And so the answer, the antidote is to align yourself with your Scorpio aspect of your personality, of yourself. And this is going to be your passionate side. This is going to be your resourceful and brave and even observant side. And it's all about yin. This is yin at its finest, which is a, a surrendered, uh, but you know, very powerful, but we're going inward and we're living life to the fullest. And that's what this, uh, this solution here is all talking about. It's about experiencing all these things that we wanted to avoid. Simplify your life by just relaxing and let life happen. That's what you do when you get overwhelmed and want to avoid all this saturation. All right, that's a wrap. We will see you again tomorrow. Thanks for being here.